How are you? How are you doing? And how is your heart? <laughs> Great <laughs> questions. Uh, you know, taking it sort of moment by moment and taking the good moments and holding them close uh, because I know there will be other waves. I think I read a quote recently that's, um, I think I posted it on my social media and it was about um, getting through to the light at the end of the tunnel, and but what's at the end of the tunnel and what comes after the light? And it's, well, there's going to be another tunnel. Mm -hmm. There's also <laughs> going to be another light. And mm -hmm. that's sort of the journey I'm on right now. I think lots of tunnels, but a lot of light, you know, in between and just kind of riding the waves. I feel you. And I sometimes I forget when I'm back in a tunnel, you know, and then someone reminds me, usually nippy, like it's, <laughs> there's, there'll be more light. <laughs> yeah. But once you've, I feel like, don't you find that once you've been through something like this, that it's a, almost a template for your own resilience for the future? Like it just keeps building? Absolutely. Um, someone was speaking to me the other day about um, sort of the flip side to PTSD and it's uh, post-traumatic resilience. Oh. Mm. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's a thing. That's absolutely a real thing. And so, yes, you have post-traumatic stress, but you also are more equipped to handle, right. you know, insane situations or trauma or hardships or, you know, you, you get very centered and focused in the midst of chaos. And that is very true, at least. Well, you me. know what you're made of. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm able to really, even though there could be a hurricane around me. I, I do feel uh, very calm in the center. And that's something that I didn't used to have until coming forward. And after this whole experience, it's sort of like, okay, well, at this point, whatever's happening around me, I know that, you know, at the core, I'm, I'm okay.